Death Troopers, I mean, it's no, it's no secret, and it's probably sacrilegious to say this as a Star Wars director, but the Stormtroopers don't normally have a very good aim. They're not, they're not that good at firing weapons and hitting the target, in, in, typically in Star Wars. And, and we wanted to have a threat within our film that was, you could take seriously and feel like they're gonna kill you if they get you. And, um, and one of the great things about working at Lucasfilm is that you get to go and visit the archives where they have all the original Millennium Falcon and the X-Wing and Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and everything like this. And in the back of the room in a drawer are the very first images that were painted uh, to promote Star Wars to the studios to try and get it green lit. And on one of those images, there was this really tall, thin stormtrooper that looked amazing. And I was like, oh, we have to do that in the film. And everyone was explaining that when you have a stormtrooper, you put armor on them and suddenly everyone looks fat and, and they can never get them to look like that. So instead, we cast, we tried to find like basketball players who are seven foot tall, very thin and sort of stunt guys and we put a really light amount of armor on them, like a very thin layer, and so they ended up looking very athletic. And the whole design was supposed to reflect like special forces, like the SAS. So that, that front snout that they have is really kind of subconsciously supposed to be like a gas mask. Like they, they're like, you know, the elite squad that, that will kill you if they get hold of you.